the most spectacular one-punch shot of many Pacquiao's career. You may hear him. Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto. Welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. Hashtag come back to boxing. Hashtag the red gloves. And I just want to wish everybody who hasn't caught my first video of the year. This is the second. I'd like to say Happy New Year. And peace to everybody who's uploading. Everybody who's keeping it boxing. And um, just basically, um, I'm going to bring to you today the dynamics of uh, Thurman Garcia. Now, this is a very, very, very well-anticipated match. I personally am one of those people who are anticipating this match. And uh, I'm just going to give you my, not even a breakdown. I just want to give you a little story behind these two. And sort of my theory as to what's going down with these two. You know? And Keith Thurman is the WBA welterweight champ. Danny Garcia is the WBC welterweight champion. Now, they both go on the Heyman. Garcia had done well at 140 pound. Okay? He did very well at the 140 pound division. And during the end stages of his run at 140, of course, he was gifted two fights. Keith Thurman is the WBA champion and has fought well at 147 pounds. Coming out of a battle with pound for pound contender Sean Porter and before him, Kayazo, who both landed great body shots on Thurman as he also endured, showed that Keith Thurman is a legit 147 champion. Garcia has been on a 2 0 win so far within the 147 pound division, also gaining the WBC championship in which he won on a vacant on vacant terms basically so now at the time the WBC strap was vacant and he beat Robert the Ghost Guerrero and he became a champion this will be Garcia's third match while being a welterweight and would be if successful his second title defense while fighting lesser opponents, Garcia has yet to show any skill lost. Thurman has been active and at 147 pounds, he is a legitimate 147 pound welterweight. With four title defenses and his skill set getting better. Now there is a huge difference in these two fighters but are similar in promotions. Al Heyman promotions are basically the band that they go under. As Thurman is known as the fighter who doesn't like when they duck him, <laughs> and also is known to wanting unifications. Garcia is known as one being dominant only at 140 pounds. And before moving up, had lost to some fight fans and critics. Two or three matches and is now 147 pounds facing an elite champion in this era. He's also known for not giving Amir Khan a rematch. The speed Garcia possesses will have to be key, but at the same time, him being flat-footed will not help him at all. And we all have to agree on this. Garcia would have to throw a jab on a constant as well as use his left hook and will have to go to Thurman's body. Will his power carry 147 pounds? Well, his fans and his camp seem to think so. But the same matches 
he just had at 147 pounds. The same matches we saw, we all know that, one, Guerrero is a diminished fighter and is at a gatekeeper status. Two, the young, non-ranked title defense he just had, his first, was against a younger, inexperienced fighter. The stoppage proves nothing. It only proves that a more polished and intelligent fighter would beat Danny Garcia and would knock him out. He have to be beaten that and only in that convincingly fashion. Unless it is obvious on the scorecards or scoring from Thurman showing total dominance. Now this is how he would have to beat Garcia. Thurman understands that Garcia has skill and power. Thurman would have to actually keep an evasive in and out game on Garcia. Set traps. Basically punch for points. Turn Garcia and land power shots clean and hard. Thurman will be the cleaner puncher. And will most likely be the harder hitter. At 147 pounds, Thurman has the better resume and is prepared for a fighter coming up from 140 from 140 pounds to 147 pounds. Thurman has been fighting legit welterweights. Competitiveness is his whole style. And in that fight at 147, that's Thurman's realm, his kingdom, his division. Garcia knows about Thurman's kryptonite. A well-landed body shot, so far proven by Callazo and Porter, to stay on top of the action and continue on Thurman, consists of speed, endurance, footwork, and power. Enough to keep Thurman at bay, as well as backing him up. This match is a good matchup for the sport of boxing, especially in the state the sport is in. Two young prom champions facing off, hopefully. Our question will be answered as to who is the best between the two champions and who is now the best at 147 pounds after this match for either fighter. The name as to opponent selection would be large. While we have Sean Porter, Kel Brook, Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao, Andre Berto, Earl Spence Jr., Timothy Bradley, Lucas Matisse now joining the 147-pound realm, and a few more. The welterweight division will be packed with fighters who hopefully will have a new high competitive edge and know that money will come with action-packed bouts, competitiveness, as well as big names. We all hope to see this fight coming up and we all hope that this fight actually takes place like I said before I for one got my money on Thurman and I want this to be a great match otherwise in that fight fans thank you for joining my fight page my name is Jay Cotto God bless Stay vigilant. Peace.